Oh shit, well, let's see that again, route combo. What is up my route runners? Hope you liked that little quick four piece clip. Uh, it was an overtime of demolition, but this video is not about that or it's not about Madden. It's about the new consoles coming out. So we got the PS4 and Xbox One, as most of y'all know, coming out at the end of this year. And a lot of information has recently come out about Xbox. They're taking a lot of heat over it. And so if you haven't heard or if you have heard, I'm just going to go over a few of the things and then have my take on it and how I think this affects gaming uh, in particular and especially competitive gaming so so let's get into it um so w what's kind of different from the new one from xbox one compared to the xbox 360 so for example you cannot play games unless you are connected to the internet once every 24 hours so if you are unable to, con to connect your game will not function at all yes that includes single player games for me and for madden players for um, you know, it really doesn't affect us too much, you know, no one really has like offline franchises or, or offline dynasties or franchises or whatever anymore, but still, for a lot of gamers love single player and love playing the campaign, especially if your internet goes out, you know, some people like to play it then, uh, so, so that's, that's very strange to me, and, you know, you can't dis uh, disconnect the connect sensor, I don't have a connect, but, uh, that first picture that you saw, it... It, I guess it, that's on all the time, and a lot of people are thinking about uh, privacy issues. And if it's on all the time, if you have to be connected to the internet, are they allowed to just look at you? And and you know, so for example, like every breath you take, every move you make, every bond you break, every step you take, I'll be watching you. So every single single day, Xbox One is going to be watching to you, and that is coming in 2013. So be on the lookout and make sure to buy it. No, okay. So um, it's before E3 at, at the moment. Uh, you know, I think a lot of this stuff is true. Some of it's not true. Um, not going to be completely true, um, especially with all this backlash. And, you know, this, there's, just, there's just so much information that's just absolutely pathetic on Microsoft Point um, behalf. So, for example, you can't even sell a game freely. Like, uh, the buying a game is just, buying the disc is just a way to download the game onto your console. It, ha it has nothing to do with the, the right of the game. The ride of the game is you have to be connected to the internet, and they can take away that game at any point that they that they feel free. And so you can't you can't even sell the game. What I mean by that, um, like in order to sell a game to someone, you must be friends with them on Xbox Live for over 30 days. Um, the game then gets locked into that user, so then that user can't sell to anybody else. So I feel like a lot of the used games will be taken away. And so what all does this add up to? You know it. It, what is Microsoft doing, Xbox doing? I mean, I understand they're trying to make it a, uh, this console's more of an entertainment console. So how does it affect us? Even if, you, even if you're not worried about the privacy issues, and I'll, I'll leave a couple links in the description below about some of the privacy issues that's going on and maybe some, uh, some video links and stuff so you can look at that if you want to. But more and more I read, more and more I think I might not, I actually will not get an Xbox One. <laughs> so... Um, I'm, you know, I'm not 100% on that. I'm going to wait till they come out and, you know, more information comes out and then, like, see how it plays out. But, you know, with the government been tapping into your Verizon phones to, um, look at data, uh, you know, the, you know, they look at everything on Facebook. They, you know, that was a nice pick right there. That's a game changer. Um, you know, it's just, it's definitely scary how they're just taking over privacy and there's nothing private anymore. And, like, why would you have to be connected to the internet once every, every, um, once a day or something like that. It's just it's just absolutely silly. So how do you th how do I think this is actually going to affect competitive gaming? Let's get onto that topic. So for co for competitive gamers like myself and a lot of y'all, I play a lot of Call of Duty and Madden and NCAA. And um, competitively, I feel like maybe at the Madden Challenge, the Xbox aren't going to be there because I feel like it's not going to be as compatible. I feel like it's just one huge entertainment center instead of instead of um, just focusing on having being a gaming console. And so I think PlayStation's probably going to take over the reins again. Um, any of the Madden challenges or live tournaments or then Call of Duty, you know, it's going to be a, probably on PlayStation, not even Xbox. That's that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. And so if, if, I'm so if I'm Sony, like, there's two ways you can go about this. One, you can go along with what Microsoft is doing with the pirate, um, privacy issues, and no one's going to do anything about it because you're going to get one of the two systems, right? 
I mean, who's going to get the Wii? I mean, it's fun and all, but it doesn't. It's not the same quality at all. Uh, so, so, and then the number two thing that uh, Sony can do is keep the format that's been a winning format, and you're going to cream Microsoft and Xbox. And I've been an Xbox player, uh, Xbox 360 player, so I'm not partial to Sony or PlayStation and have you know a love affair with them. Like you know, you know, so I don't care about the console. I just want to play with the best console. To, to bring me the best quality game that's not going to interfere with my daily life who's going to let me sell my used game to whoever and whenever I want to and um, not not spy on me pretty much so there you know there's a lot going on it's going to be very interesting to see how all this plays out but if Sony plays this right I think they are going to win and win by a landslide and Microsoft is making the biggest mistakes of their life so hope you all enjoyed this commentary and I'll see you all on the sticks